Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Up to now we have created the routes into a separate file. But now while we are trying to use the HTML, so we are sending the HTML as a text format, right? So now what we will try to do is, we will create a views file in a such a way that we will create the templates. And uh, let's see, we will see also see about the dynamic templates also. First we will try to see the uh, design the templates. And we, we need to load the HTML file instead of this HTML text. Let's try to see this one, how we can do it. So here I am creating a views folder. Okay. And in this views folder, let's say that first I will be creating home page. Home page dot HTML file. So whenever we try to use this slash home, instead of loading this, this is the home page. I want to load the complete HTML. So including the doc type and everything I need to load it. I can't write that complete HTML text it here, right? So that is the reason we are creating a separate file so that we need to load this file instead of this HTML text. How we can do it? Let's try to do it. So here I am writing the boilerplate of the HTML. <clears throat> and here this is a home page. I can write here this is a home page. And let's say that here this is our header. I'll be having a header. And in this header, let's say that we will developing an e-commerce website. This is our e-commerce website and here we'll be having a nav and in this one we'll be having a ul li the styling and all those things you'll see how to attach the styling files and all those things first let's try to design the template and here home page and we are having users page right slash users and here you can write slash users so enough main file main sorry main element and here I can write instead of this one. So H1. So this is the home page. That's it. So let's make it as a simple. So now here we have created this file. Now I want to use this file instead of here. So instead of this loading the text. So what can I do? So instead of using this one, what I need to do is we need to use the send file. Okay. Send file. So this method we need to use and now here we need to give the path of the file. So where it is located, it is located in the views slash homepage.html. So let's try to load it. If I try to see, okay, the server is running. If I go here and if I try to refresh this page, here we are getting an error that path must be absolute or specify root. <coughs> so now here. We are trying to give a relative path. If I try to give something like like this slash means then again the problem comes here. We cannot able to find that page we are able to see. So it is trying to get it from something like D slash in the deep in the D directory view slash homepage dot HTML. So which it should be present in something like in the project in the node express app. It should be present, but it is trying to tell go to the D drive, which is in the operating system in our operating system. This should have this should not happen like this. So that is the reason we need to give an absolute path for this one. What we need to do is we need to include the import the core module path module. So to get the absolute path of this views file. So let's import this path and here I can use path dot join. So we will be using path dot join inside this one. We need to use a global global variable that is available. So the road JS itself it will be available global variable. That is nothing but di directory name. It will give you the current directory name. So this is a global variable. It will give the current directory name. So this current directory name where it is located in the routes. So the routes you will be able to get the routes. Here let's say that I am loading the views. Okay. The views and the homepage.html. Let's see. So like this we need to give with uh, views as a parameters we need to give it. Now if I try to show you the output now again it's trying to say that something like de projects node express app routes inside the routes inside the views it is trying to check it so here why because as this routing file as this home.js routing file is located in the routes folder and we are trying to check the views in that same same thing so it should not happen like this so for that reason what can we can do is we can use something like we need to go one step up so here one step up so one step out means in the same level views folder is there. So now we can able to get the output. If you try to see the output this time, 
see now the HTML page is loaded from the HTML file the template which we have given it so this is how we need to add the file when you are trying to send the response the file we need to add it like this so path dot join so this is the node core node js core module to get the absolute path of that particular file and we are using the current directory so what is that current directory we are having including the absolute path d projects everything the project name everything you will get it and we are going one level up and we are going to the views like this in the same scenario we can also do for the admin dot js also we are having user and the add user so let's try to create a new file user dot html and here also we can create add user dot html now in the user dot html i can copy this entire home page and i can paste it here and here i can say that this is the users page and in the add user also i can copy the entire thing but here in the h1 place so let's go into this one copy this form form data whatever the form data we are having in the add user you need to place it here that's it that's it now if you go into this one so where is this home.js not not admin.js so here you need to use send file so we need to get a path let's import the path here also so we can import the path not a problem so require of path and here we can use path.join sorry path.join and this one is also present in the <coughs> routes folder so here you can give so first we need to give the directory name dar name and here i can add dot dot slash one step go up going up and views we can add and here i can use user dot html and in the same scenario here also i can copy this entire thing and i can paste this entire thing and here we'll be using add user dot html file let's try to see the output now if i try to see slash user slash add right slash users to try to see so this is the users page we are able to get it and if i try to see now here we are also we are able to get the same output so now this time what we have did instead of loading it from the text for text template so we are loading the html file so using this send file and also the absolute path directory name now let's go to the app.js file and here we also we are having another one that is nothing but a 404 page so let's try to convert this one also 404 page also view file so here i am creating 404.html the same thing let's create take this all the output and paste it here and here i will be writing page not found now let's go to the app.js and here include the path the same path which we are using required path and in this require path what i will try to do is here we will be using send file and path dot join so it will concat so directory name comma this time we should not use the dot dot slash why because this route is present in the app dot js so this is the app dot js in this app dot js in the same level this views folder is also located so for this reason there is no need to use the dot dot slash so views comma 404 dot html that's it if you try to see the output this time so i am trying to enter some random routing which is not available so here we are able to see the page not found so this is how we can add the html files using the send file method and also the path node.js core module hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.